Today we're going to be talking about equivalent fractions. What are equivalent fractions? Well, equivalent fractions represent the same fraction even though they have different numerators and denominators. For example, one-half and four-eighths are equivalent fractions. You notice how they represent the same amount of pizza even though the pizza is sliced into different number of pieces. Here are some more fractions that are equivalent. Three-sixths and two-fourths. Both of these fractions are also equivalent to one-half. If you notice, the fraction bar, even though each fraction bar is separated into a different number of parts, the shaded part still represents the same amount of the fraction bar. So, are two-thirds and four-sixths equivalent? Well, how do you know if fractions are equivalent when the picture doesn't help or you don't have a picture to look at? First, look at the numbers in the fractions to determine if they have any common multiples. For example, two-thirds and four-sixths both have numbers in them that are multiples of two. Then, choose a common multiple and multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same common multiple. In this case, we're going to multiply two-thirds by two over two. And we get four-sixths. So, two-thirds and four-sixths are equivalent fractions. Let's take a look at another one. Are three-sixths and one-third equivalent fractions? Well, let's first see if they have any common multiples. In this case, three is a common multiple for both three and six. Now, let's multiply one-third by the common multiple of three over three. We get three-ninths. In this case, one-third and three-sixths are not equivalent fractions. Now you know two ways to determine if fractions are equivalent. First, you can use pictures. If there are no pictures, you can try to draw your own. If the pictures that you're given don't help, or there are no pictures and you can't draw your own, then you can try to multiply by common multiples.